during this session we're going to run through how you can install a new theme over the top of your current Neato web shop theme and then how you can style that theme using the Neato style editor. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to load up our Neato control panel. And once we've done that we're going to go to the web content link at the top of the page. We're going to scroll down to the web shop theme editor. So we drill into that link and then that will load up the web shop theme editor gallery. And as I can see here it's showing the current theme that is installed on my web shop. So currently this web shop is using the theme country and then below that it's showing me all available themes to install and I can install and edit these themes at the click of a button. So you can see here there's a number of free themes that I can choose from. Okay so for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to install the take me home theme. Okay now I can demo a theme before installing it by clicking on the demo button and that'll take me through to a demonstration web shop using that theme and I can browse that web shop and use that web shop and just make sure 100% that that is the theme I want to install. Once I've done that I can then click the install button. Now what the system's doing is it's downloading this theme and installing it into my Neato control panel so that I can then go ahead and activate it. So now that it's installed I can scroll back down to that particular theme and I can activate it. Once I activate it, that then sets it as my current web shop theme. So I can see here now it's my current web shop theme. And if I was going to go to the Maya web shop homepage, I would now see that that theme has been installed. Okay, so there we can see that theme is now installed. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you how I can customize this theme to match my branding. So I click on the Edit Styles button. That then loads up the Neato Style Editor and I go ahead and I start customizing the theme. Okay, so I can upload my own logo, my own favicon, I can change colors such as uh, link color, background color, font family and style. Okay, these are all options that are available to edit for this particular theme. Now depending on the theme that you're editing, the options uh, will be different. Okay, so in this theme's case, I've got the option here to edit the header background color, so I'm gonna edit that to a light yellow color just for demonstration purposes only. I'm going to apply that change to my theme. And that'll load in real time. You can see now that header has changed to a light yellow color. Okay, if I want to now go ahead and change maybe my link color, I can change that now to maybe a dark red. Apply those changes. And now these links will change to a dark red color, as you can see there. Okay, so that's how quick and easy it is to style a theme to match your branding using the theme editor.